Mmm, yummy. yummy. I'm having coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drinking coffee right now? Yep. Right here. Nice. A little bit of little bit of milk. Mm-hmm. Nice. Very delicious. Have you guys ever gotten into the artificial sweetener like Splenda or anything like that? Yes. That and shit's nasty. What do you think? I used to do lots of Splenda and everything. I used to drink Diet Coke. I cut all that. I stopped with all of it. Yep. I, the only I, I always hated artificial sweetener and like candy or desserts and stuff like that. But Diet Coke, once it gets its fucking dirty little fingers around you, it's hard to let Diet Coke go. I used mm, to drink like I a know. twelve pack a day. Dude, you know what I used to love? I used to love uh, Captain Morgan's with Diet Coke. Mm. Yeah, that is good. I'd make big ass like cups full of ice and with that mixed together. Oh god, uh, I could still do that. That's. That's the only way I would drink like a Diet Coke would be mixed with Captain Morgan's. Once you start drinking it like that, if you try to go back to regular Coke, that high fructose corn syrup, it just not tastes sweet. It, it it's not only sweet, but it has this syrupy thickness that like sticks to your teeth and mouth and it feels like shit. Yep. Can't Doesn't do Diet Coke have like a lot of sodium to make you want to keep drinking it? Yeah, it makes you thirsty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. I don't know what this has to do with vaping, but I figured we'd have a little convo. Oh, this we're good. Are we talking about vaping tonight? No, we never talk about vaping. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a vape show. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, yes, Mark is muted. Yes, yeah. I'm muted tonight. <clears throat> You're in sign language. Mark's been messing with his fucking microphones again for the past 20 minutes. <clears throat> I haven't touched my microphone at all. Ba -ba Something looks different in there. Why is <laughs> only part of the flag showing? Because I removed my TV. I didn't move my TV. I pushed it against the wall. So now my TV's not sticking out. How did you notice that, Mike? I noticed everything. A little attention to detail. In there. Yep. Look, you can tell. Look at the lean. <sighs> there we go. All right, we'll show everybody what we're looking at. Let's uh, do yep. the 20-minute intro, shall we? Smoking. Shut up. Nishan. We are live. Live, 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 live. Shut up, Mark. Live. Yeah. With me as always, the man with the master plan. What am I even doing? Mark, you got me all <laughs> fucked up. You totally threw the intro off. Uh, I couldn't help myself on that. Welcome time. back to the vape team, the motherfucking great team, Cloudy Entertainment for that ass. 256, the clouds of summer. We are back. It's another Thursday night, and we are... Uh, yeah, we're here for another show with everybody. Welcome everybody in chat. Welcome to all the new members. Welcome to all the people watching the show. We got a great show planned for you tonight. Uh, we planned a lot for this one. There's a lot of preparation that goes into these shows. I don't know if you guys know this. <laughs> Mark has spent a total of three minutes prepping for the show. I've been here for an hour and a half building my atomizers for the show. Unlike yeah. Brian, who just got in here five minutes ago. I don't think that's true. But a man that always prepares for the show is sipping on a little coffee. Mr. Matchy Matchy, the matchstick man, the iron lung, the third lung, the Greek god of modern vaping, Mount Olympus, the king of fucking clouds, ladies and gentlemen, the cloud commander. He's in charge. Mikey motherfucking vapes. Good evening, Greg, Sid, Chat, Steve, Adrian, Shkreli, Very Hot, Leslie's vaping. Hope you're doing good, girl. Thank you. 
I think Mike should just read down the whole list of everybody watching the show. Yep. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we also have a special guest this evening. No, I'm sorry. Junior member. He's a junior okay. member. I don't want to take that away. Uh, he's still special. Mark is with us. Daddy likes to kiss my pee-pee. Oh, stop. Man. Right. Hi, everyone. <laughs> don't say shit like that. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do buffets, shall we? <sighs> buffet? Yes, you say buffet? Buffet. Buffet? Mm, yes. What do you vape at all, Bark? Uh, we got, you guys probably have not seen this before. I just got it yesterday. Pretty excited. The triad with the BTFC. There you go. Have a quick look at it because I know you're probably not going to see it again. We got the strawberry, the one. Super, super sweet. Uh, one of the boxers, I think it's the boxer classic with the GT4 with an old school drip tip. I think that's a uh, oh, what the hell's the name of that fucking UK company? Not Floyd Mesto, the other one. We have uh, a Gregory, two dollar donation from Gregory you. Brown just to interrupt you, Mark. You fucking Sorry. cocksucker, you, and... did, you did start this, Gregory. There you go, folks. It's there. It's real. It's bright, too. Jam Monster Banana. Can you hear Mark? There it is. It sounds like he's in an echo chamber. Yep. Brad's Vapor. There we Check go. it out. VF10. Use the coupon code. It's good, but it tastes like Jam Monster. We got this, Inikin, with the, what should we call the, the Z50 with the Aries 2. And we got a little bit of the Geek Vape Xanax. There you go. <laughs> Xanax. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Take it away, Brian. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing? Uh, Mark, there's something going on with your microphone. I think you were leaning away from it. Maybe that was what it was. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Probably. All right. Uh, we, oh, my God. We got a whole bunch of donations that just popped up. You guys are uh, slow as fuck. Yep. David Swearingen, he, uh, $2. He said, you know why? Rich Sabold to interrupt Mark's buffet. And uh, <laughs> Michael Blem, F. Mark. Look there we go. You, Michael. Is that an offer to fuck Mark or I don't I think it's know. an offer. And just for that, I'm gonna grab my other microphone. No, no, please don't go. do microphone. Oh, jeez. Can we not switch microphones mid show, Mark? Where the hell is he? Mm -hmm. There we go. Got a little bit of that right there. Alrighty. What am I what am I vaping on? I have the uh Aegis Boost, as you all know. Look at this. I found another tip for it, and the nibbling has already begun. So I'll be through that within a week, and I'll be back to the metal. And, oh, I want to make something perfectly clear before I finish my buffet. I was not, I repeat, not in Hawaii. Okay? I don't have a helicopter or an airplane. I was not in Hawaii. I was in Pennsylvania for Mark's show on Sunday night. Pennsylvania, it's one state over. So there's a lot of rumors going around that I was in Hawaii on a beach somewhere. But no, I was in Pennsylvania. I got proof. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, what else am I vaping on? Uh, I have the Cool Fire Z50 with his light on top of that. Enjoying that. Bravo C14. Bravo C14. Do you hear me? Over? We hear you. Uh, we hear you. Go ahead. 10 4. Thank you. Sure, right. you're on. I also have the clutch with an RDA for vaping that I'm vaping on tonight, and I also have the Od or the Vapen Bogan. This is the what is this called? The Odin? Yeah. Odin Mini? Fucking, no, it's not the Mini. I don't have the Mini. I never even got the Mini. I have the regular Odin with Mike's intake sublim tank on top of there. Join that. Uh, liquids tonight. I am vaping on American Vintage Charger, 18 milligrams. A lot of people have been asking me about this. My green screen's fucking it up, but uh, this is Paradigm. If you guys like mints or menthols or spearmints, you're gonna love this. Uh, I love it. It's fucking awesome. Alex Davila, five dollars appreciation for Mark shaving that weird shiz on his chin. Thank you. Did you shorten it, Mark? Yes, I did. Look at that. <laughs> it has been shortened by requested by many people. Uh, also, the other e-liquid that I have tonight is some Dallas. If you like a rich vanilla tobacco flavor, three milligrams. This is from Package, Paradigm Package, Dallas. Vaping on that tonight. And uh, take it away, Mike. Good evening. All right. Okay, what are we vaping on? 
uh, Intake Duel, Boxer Classic, Raspberry Custard, Draw Mother F and Turner. Vaping on that. I'm also vaping on the Nfix thingy from Smoke Smock. Vaping on that. We got some Chicago 12 and Saver. We'll leave this here because we got Chicago on a lot of stuff here. Also vaping on the Nunu from Aspire. The Mix. Look at that. The Aspire Mix. And look, check that out. Look, it's got... Ooh. Ooh. Press the button. Where's the fire button on this thing? There it is. Bam! Like a vapor shot. Got the Berserker version 2 MTL. Vandy Vape, Alex Vapors MD. We also got Chicago inside there. The ultimate pod mod ever made. The Boxer DNA 250C with the X to the 3YZ C3PO MTL RTA. Chicago 12 inside that. Also vaping on the uh, Aries V2. With uh, unsalted blueberry morning, I think that's what's called blueberry morning on this sexy setup right here. Yeah, buddy, vaping on that. Uh, what else? Oh, I'm also vaping on. What the hell's the name of this thing again? What do we call it again, Mark? The Xanax. Yes, I'm also <laughs> vaping on a Xanax. <laughs> oh man! Now, what I'm not vaping tonight. What are you not vaping? It's still on a mod. I haven't been too lazy. The Dead Rabbit V2 RTA. I'm not vaping on it. That's it. Thank you. So, Mike, you do you think yeah. that this new side-by-side, -side uh, uh, the, the resurgence of side-by-side -side mods, you think that's going to be like a trend that's going to happen? Uh, I don't know about it being a resurgence. I don't think it's always been there. It's just that uh, now a, a mass-produced mod from a company Sunbox. I can't remember what they made again. They made some high-end device. Mark, Sunbox? Sunbox? Mark, are you high? <laughs> no. <laughs> you, 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 you were... Sunbox sounds like a gas station. <laughs> no, I've never heard of Sunbox. Sunbox <laughs> gas stations. <laughs> uh but uh, it's pretty nice. I like it. All right. It looks nice and compact, like everything. It does look pretty it's cool. It's like it's <clears throat> an AIO. It's almost like an AIO when it's all put together. 18650? Yep. And it has an adapter. I could do uh, 18350. Mm. I think it's 18350. So you take out these uh, metal rods. On the side, you unscrew them, I think, and you take this whole thing out, and you just you shorten the whole thing down. What size atomizer fits down in there? Do we? That, you... That's a twenty-four, up to a twenty-four on here. I was vaping it earlier. I actually had the Aries on here, the twenty-two. Now I threw on the twenty-four. Pretty cool. I like those mods. I love those mods. The night version two from uh, Smo Ant. Yeah, I love that mod. That mod was built so well at the yeah. time. Yep. <clears throat> um, quick question for for those out there in chat: If you want to see the production of that mod that Mike's holding, Aspire. If you follow them on Instagram or on Facebook, they have a video of the CNC machining of that and the making of it, which is pretty fucking dope. Yep. Yep. Da, 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 da. Nobody in chat is uh, bringing up Sunbox. What was there a mod called Sunbox, or was that a company called Sunbox? I remember them. Uh... Uh, hold on, let me I, I just don't remember what. Anyway, as far okay. as nobody in chat is throwing it up, I guess people don't know what that is. Hmm. Uh, Nathan ha says hashtag Steve's Cotton. Yep. Mike, do you know what the price point on that's going to be? I have no clue. I didn't hmm. even know that that was the uh, mix, the name of it, it arrived today. Cool. Yeah, it, it looks pretty small, man. Oh, oh I almost forgot. How did I forget this one? The buffet. Also vaping on the Atoll X with the um, Temple V2 RDA. And full review is on YouTube for this gorgeous mechanical mod. Check it out. Yeah, buddy. What's in here? Oh, the Nunu from uh, Joe Turner. We got that Vanilla Swirl in there. Ooh, what's Vanilla Swirl? Vanilla Swirl. <laughs> so what's it swirled with? <laughs> swirled with vanilla. Hmm. There you go, Sunbox Stashbox. That's what it was, Stashbox. 
Yeah, it was Some a box side by side. Isn't that a hitter box? Everyone's saying they're a high end company. Yeah, it's a high end. I've heard of them. I just never had anything from them. So Sunbox is a company high end, but they're doing collabs with China companies. No, yeah. I see. Well, we've been seeing that now. We already saw Aspire actually had uh, the guys from uh, the atomizer you're vaping on, Mark. The uh, uh, the GT4. Who makes it again? The uh, Smoker Store. Smoker Store, yes. Smoker Store did the collab with uh, Aspire for that uh, the tank. That looks like a GT. What the hell is it? It's the GT MTL, whatever it was called. I can't remember the name of it now. Uses the uh, Aspire MTL coils in that. Now they're doing this. But I guess Aspire's uh, teamed up with a bunch of high end companies or. Yeah. They did say like a long time ago, like last year, I think they were going to start doing, like, have like a mid to high end line of stuff. Hmm. Well, you guys remember back when, um, when uh, Vapor Shark decided to merge with Wismac and do a collab, remember? Mm-hmm. Do you guys think that it's sort of a decision that those high-end companies make? Because once they choose to do that route and they put their branding on a product, do you think it impacts the high-end game of their business? Uh, it might impact it because then it puts uh, that thing inside people's head. Did they really make it or is this maybe made by Aspire, for example? But what if they're the- passing it off as... But if you really think about it, if Aspire's make it, why can't Aspire make a high end mod? Right. It's not like the CNC machines they have in China are shit or the Unless the the they're designing it and Aspire's making it. Well, if you have creative engineers that are working with these high end companies and all the designs are coming out of there and then they're collaborating for the manufacturing of it, you can have an amazing quality product. I mean, look at all the uh, the SQ products, the top side, the clutch. Dude, tell me the clutch doesn't feel like a fucking premium high end. It, it's amazing what they can yeah. do. I mean, it could be done by China. I'll give you the perfect example, gas mods. They're RDAs. They're fucking gorgeous. The machine, everything gorgeous on it. And I've said this before in the past, they make a lot of the high ends that these high end companies are... It's all on a sneak. They make, a, I don't know which companies are the ones doing it, but there are high ends that are actually gas mods makes their RDAs. So, I mean, if you put this in your hand, when this is in your hand and you just check it out and you use it, you're going to think to yourself, Aspire made this? Doesn't feel like something Aspire made. Oh, wait a minute. I think I said something wrong. Vapor Flask, not Vapor Shark, is who teamed up with Wismac Joytech. Yeah, you're right. Vapor. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's what it was. Yep. Vapor that, Flask. Like, for the owners that actually had a Vapor Flask that paid like two to $300 for one, I, I don't know. I felt kind of like shafted when they came out with like a cheap version of them. I had bought my authentic one like three weeks before that merger happened. Yeah. And that merger kind of killed the company. It is did, Vapor right? Flask still around? Not to my knowledge. Nope. They the have that flask. the new Joytech flask that I saw. I think Vaping with Vic did a review on it today. But it reminds me so much of the nostalgia from the Vapor flask back when that came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sadie, uh, Cyclomods, yes. They're RDAs, RTAs, whatever. Well, RDAs. They're all made out of China. That I know. And they've actually said that it's made. A lot of the stuff comes. There's a lot of stuff made in China. A lot of people think that, like, for example, the goon. To this day, people think that the goon was made uh, here in the States. That was made in China. A lot of people, a lot of people think that reload, the reload products are all made in the States. They're all made in China. They have an office in the States. They have an office in the States that's not even an office. It's it's basically the back room of a laundromat. That's not <laughs> a joke. We actually... I'm not going to mention his name. He did a little investigation. He actually found their office. It's in a laundry mat. So. Yep. Yeah, so there's... Anyway, I, I drifted over there. But uh, China could make stuff that looks high-end. This is proof right here. This thing, it's... You get this in your hand, you're going to be like, damn, they made this? I think China can make really good shit. <clears throat> they just need someone who can design it and oversee them make it. Yeah. They don't have someone that can 
design a good mod or oversee them making it, China will fuck it up. Well, that's the thing. Obviously, for some box to put their name on it, they oversee it, saw it, and they made sure that Aspire didn't cut any corners. You know, this is the way I want it. This been so many times, especially I'll give you a perfect example. There's been times where like me working with China, designing something, and I give them a product, a design, then they send me a totally different thing. Oh, we changed it. I think we should do this. I'm like, no. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. you have to stick to your guns and tell them exactly what you want and how you want it. Also, the other thing is, is that, like, say Aspire was to come out with that product, Mike, and they were to release it on the market without the collaboration, right? In order to make something of that quality... They they're gonna have to charge a premium price for it, right? Even yeah. if it's even if it's made in China. So collaborating with another company that has that more prestigious branding helps them raise the price so they can produce something that's made of that quality. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. not gonna have something like the clutch cost forty dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm sure they can make a subpar quality clutch with less you know attention to detail, less door fitment, less quality materials. And all of a sudden, the price could be forty dollars. You know what I mean? But the thing is, with mass produced, I'll give you another example. There's also with mass produced. It's funny that you bring up the clutch. When something is mass produced, there's always going to be pe- stuff that goes out that shouldn't have been in the market. Mistakes. I'll give you a perfect example. I actually have it right here. I have four of them. This was a. a prototype that was so I mean, of the clutch okay the logo is crooked yeah okay where is it you could see the difference between the two yep all right logo logo is crooked they made a whole bunch of these we were like, no, these cannot go out. They can no way. So it was a little delay. They had to, I guess they had to dump all those doors. They had to remake doors for them. Just today, somebody uh, messaged uh, Alex, hit that, hit that juice. And they bought a clutch and the logo was crooked. They showed me a picture. Now, how the hell did that happen? Did they Something did- like that shouldn't have. Now, this is to where I bring it up to where, like, if uh, Signature Tip Shake was making, he would never. Yes. If he, that lasered out the, the logo crooked, that's going in a trash. Yeah. So this is where we have to distinguish. Look, companies can make high end, but when someone is making high end, they're overseeing each piece. And they'd be like, OK, this is to perfection. This is why you pay top money for something that's because that person over saw it and made sure it was perfect. Not so, something that was mass produced. I can remember Mike being in the UK at the signature tips booth and the first run of the SQ topside arrived at the show. And I remember sitting there with shake and we opened up every single box, every single box. We checked Every single unit, we, we had a finger tap test in all four corners on both sides of the mod to make sure the fitment on the doors was perfect, that there was no rattle. We made sure the bottle went in and out perfectly. I mean, the attention to detail that somebody like Shake puts toward their products, it has to show up in the product that you're releasing with a Chinese collaboration. Mm-hmm. It has to. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Batman? Batman's in chat saying, what's hey, up? Hey, what's up, Batman? What's doing, up, man? baby? I hope everything's going well, brother. And that's another thing, too, from someone the high-end realm shape. Well, I forgot what I was going to say. I just went blank. I've been there. That ever happened to you? It happens to me all the fucking time. Well, there was just something I wanted to talk about, and I just went blank in my head. Fuck. Uh, I hate when that happens. Um, uh, uh, uh. Never really paid attention to my clutch. Um. Uh-huh. Oh, I, got dis- uh-huh. I got distracted by uh, Batman being in chat. What's up, brother? What up, man? I was saying before the show started tonight that um, 
we might have to move the show back a little bit time wise. No. Be- Dude, I know it's so tough though. Mm-mm. I have been on this new because I'm back to work and I've been getting up like super early in the morning and I've been going to sleep around 10 or 10 30 at night during the week. And I found myself at like 9 30 night before the show started. I was yawning like crazy and I was starting to get tired. I was like, oh man, it's gonna nah. be rough. And, oh, I just remembered what <laughs> it was I wanted to say. <laughs> what was it? Like, damn, I don't fuck. Another thing about, like, for example, with uh, signature tips, if there's an issue, the customer service is tremendous with him. Any issue there is, like, for example, when there was issues with the top side, he took care of it. Issues with the clutch, took care of it. Issues with anything of his mods, his SQ mods, whatever. There was no uh, trying to beat around the bush or anything like that. It was... We're going to take care of him. This is a customer. Paying customer, customer service. That's another thing with him. Being a high end, if you're going to charge the price, you got to have the best customer service. Still. Yep. This is like a promo for us. <laughs> it's, it's, dude, it. it's the truth. But he deserves it. I mean, he the, totally deserves yeah. it. Yeah. Nobody, you won't hear anybody have anything bad to say about them. Nothing at all. Nope. I've never heard anything bad. Dude, all you have to do is hang out with him for five minutes and see yeah. how he runs everything and check out his shop and all the, the different levels of quality control that they have. And you just know the personality that he has. His name means something. And he yeah. stands behind it. It's just it's the way it is. Yep. So. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to Living Hints. The number 72 has come into our lives once again. We know what this 72 means. Because I have no clue. What was it again? The something of 72. God, I'm blanking. (laughs) What was it again? The measurement? No. I I think it's the... I don't know. I'm fucked up too. Fuck, I went... The hell's going... Mark, this is all your fault. Mark's been rubbing that fucking cock and it's been getting me sidetracked. I am not high. Everyone in chat that's saying that, I have not... Rule. The rule of 72. There you go. The rule of 72. Yep. So thank you, Living Hints. Yes. Um... I wanted to talk for one minute about uh, movies because I know I know you guys love movies. I love movies. Movies are coming out, and I know this is not vape related, but I, I got a little pissed off this week. And I understand the purpose of why they're doing it, but when you're looking forward to movies, like I'm really looking forward to Tenet. Right, this is the new uh, movie from the uh, director uh, Christopher Nolan, who did Batman, Batman Begins, and Memento, and uh, Trent. Uh, T- tons of other amazing freaking movies through the years but that's coming out and they pushed it back into august and they might even push it back again and other movies that are coming out like halloween kills got pushed back to 2021 uh the, the new purge movie got pushed back to 2021 is anybody feeling like is that first of all is anybody give a shit because right now we have so much shit to really care about that means stuff that that's like our careers and our families and our safety and all this kind of stuff that we're dealing with do you guys even care that movies get pushed back if you're looking no, for No, because who the fuck is going to go to a movie theater, A, and B, a lot of these movies, a lot of these new releases, you can rent them on Apple TV for like $12, $13, and you could be in the comfort of your own home instead of a nasty-ass movie theater. Yeah, but if it gets pushed back out of the oh, movies yeah, for a back. year, then it's not going to be at your house for a year and a half. Well, who's going to go to the theater, though? Like... I know. Well, they they decided some of the movies that were supposed to come out in June, they released direct to uh, streaming services where you pay for it at home. Which they lose a lot of money because you think about it. Dude. If you're going with your whole family, how much does that cost compared to then you're buying it to stream? Yep. They, they're losing a lot of money. A lot of these uh, movie theaters, they're going to they're gonna end up shutting down. They're going to be able to survive. Well, AMC in the state of New Jersey is suing because of their the the close down they said it ruined their business you know who are they suing though like they're suing the state but <laughs> i don't know so i was sitting there thinking about it right so the movie theater near me a couple of the movie theaters have stepped up their game and i'm sure this is the way it is across the country but nowadays when you go to a movie theater at least where i am they have these big leather loungers right 
and they're separated from each other. So you can lean all the way back. It's like having a couch in the movie theater. And then there's enough walking space so you could be laid back and people can still walk by. And you have to pre-order your ticket to get a seat and you can choose where in the theater you want to sit, right? So you can pick right in the middle and you reserve your seat. So I'm thinking, what if they were to put up plastic boundaries between the seats, right? And then come in between each showing and then wipe them all. Well, I guess that you'd have to trust that the movie theater I think workers... it's because like theaters are so enclosed and so like, it's like a locker room in there. Hmm. Well, when, when you go into a supermarket, is what is that? Isn't that enclosed? Well, they got a lot more ventilation, I think, in a supermarket. Nah. Theaters, I don't know. Every time I go to a theater, it just feels so like, I don't know, muggy. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's, who knows? And whether, theaters. and whether you're like a COVID denier, or you think it's not as serious, if you think it is serious, if you're a mask or not mask, there's businesses especially small businesses and even large businesses now like this week there's been a huge amount of announcements from companies that are going bankrupt that are closing but especially the small businesses like a lot of movie theaters that are chains or privately owned and there's a lot of people that are losing their jobs there's a lot of vape shops that were already fucking struggling just because of the changes in the industry and all the stuff that's been going on and now that we've had covid happen and uh, everything has been on lockdown it's killing small businesses, restaurant owners. I have a couple friends that own restaurants. Just that last week, there was a friend of mine that uh, is from Philadelphia, and he's got a restaurant. He spent twenty thousand dollars to stock up all of the food in his restaurant. He had forty-two employees that he brought back onto the payroll because they were supposed to allow them to open. And the next day, they said that they're pushing back the opening. All that food had to be given away. Yeah, that's not right, dude. I like, see a lot of people mentioning drive-in theaters. I know they opened up a drive-in theater down the street from me, and they show like four or six different movies at once at a drive-in. So I guess it's kind of a different way to go about going to the movies. There's a couple movies that I really want to see. Like anytime a big like blockbuster movie comes out, like a huge action movie, or like when Christopher Nolan does the IMAX experience for his movies, I want to be in the theater. There's some – like for, for – movie buffs out there that love movies and look forward to them there's something to be said about the excitement of waiting for the release going there on the night that it that it opens and then seeing it with other people where you can feel the energy in the theater as long as the people are like not fucking talking on their phones and making a ruckus but for the majority of movies i prefer sitting on my couch with my tv in the privacy of my own home you know yeah i don't like i don't care for going to the movies uh, i got too spoiled with being able to pause Yes. That pause button is just a beautiful thing. I like the uh, theaters that have the glory holes. Those are the best. Oh, with a little private room? <laughs> <laughs> I could totally see you go to an adult theater and take care of yourself in there. Bringing your flashlight in a backpack with different flavored lubes. <laughs> Weren't you watching that, uh, what is it, Uncut Gym? Like, what's that hole? <laughs> no, I seen that. Watch, on did Netflix. you watch that movie? Know. No, I didn't watch it. What, Uncut Gem? Uncut Gems. Did you watch oh, it? Oh, Gems. I'm sorry. No. I started watching it. I went like 10 minutes in. I just like, I was like, this is stupid. I just thought the title was pretty There's funny. something about Adam Sandler doing that kind of in that role just, just doesn't do it for me. I'm not a big Adam Sandler. Yeah, me too. You don't like his movies? I never liked him. His movies are right. I'm just not a big fan of him. Like, I don't Dude, know why. I love some of the old, like, Waterboy Waterboy's fucking hilarious. You know what it, you know what it is? When it has when it's somebody that you know that's into comedies and stuff like that. Right. It's hard for me to see him play a different role. It's like, like Jim Carrey. Didn't Jim Carrey do some serious roles? Yeah. Yeah. For movies. I just cannot watch them. The Truman Show. All I'm thinking about is him making his crazy faces and fucking the so throughout the whole movie, I'm waiting for him to just burst out and do something crazy like that. He did Man on the Moon, man. He was amazing as Andy Kaufman in that movie. I can't watch them. Yeah. That's why people get typecast into certain roles and certain characters, you know? Yeah. Big That's time. what we were saying about, like, uh, these people that do, like, the Marvel characters. Once you start in there, it's hard for you to get out of it. Yeah, but dude, Mike, getting a getting a gig on a Marvel movie where they're making six movies or ten movies, and you're in that, you're in the money. Yeah, man. well, I'll give you a perfect example. Like uh, before, like the Marvel movies, like Christopher Christopher Reeve, right. Superman. Yeah. We, it's like you could not see him play another role. 
it just didn't make sense. The only one who could really could get away with playing another role is uh, what's his Christian name, Bale. Iron Man? Um, oh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, because he was already did stuff. Yeah, you know, Christian Bale I think could do other roles too. Yeah, after Batman, you know. But no, I don't have a problem with that. It's more of the a comedian doing the serious stuff. That's just. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Yeah, Happy Gilmore was another one, Arsehole Vapor. That was funny as hell. Um, real quick for those out there, uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not. You probably, if you've been following social media, you know. Kasa is in desperate need for people to support and donate. And I know these are difficult times financially for a lot of people out there. But if you have the means... I recommend heading over to kasa.org and uh, donating. There's a little section halfway down on their page where you can click on it and you can donate. You can set it up for monthly payments of $2 or $5 or you could just make a one-time donation. But if you like getting all of your you know, consumer advocacy information sent to you, if you like calls to action, if you like to be informed, you probably want to step up and, and support that if you have the ability. Not not pressure, because I know that a lot of people are struggling with money right now, but uh, CASA has dropped 40% of their income that they're used to getting to run the organization. So if you're interested, you can support that. Uh, Jamie Foxx. People are saying Jamie Foxx. Well, Jamie Foxx, yes. Jamie Foxx is an, an, Different, an enigma. Though. Him playing the serious roles, that dude is fucking awesome. Yeah. I love him in the series. I never was into his comedy or anything, never. But the serious roles, I love Jamie Foxx. Is there anything that Jamie Foxx can't do? He's good. I mean, dude, the dude is an amazing, as far as his athleticism, he can dance, he can sing, he can act. Yep. He's funny. <laughs> he can... <laughs> do you know that for sure, Mark? I don't. I have no idea. Yeah. Someone in chat said that he's playing, uh, he's going to be, he's playing Mike Tyson in the upcoming role. I heard that. Yeah. He's playing Mike Tyson, and the dude that played Thor is playing Hulk Hogan. No. Yes. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be fucking awesome, brother. Yeah. Yep. I can't believe they're making a fucking Hulk Hogan uh, story. And, you know, he was pretty ripped in Thor. And you know that if he grew the fucking the handlebar and got uh -huh. ripped, he could definitely pull that shit off. There's no doubt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, real quick, I noticed, and I don't have you noticed this around you, Mike? A lot of the vape shops in New Jersey that I used to go to have switched over to 100% CBD. They've turned into CBD shops. Oh, yeah. That's, well, I, I only know of one around me, which happened like three years ago. You know, my my partner with Hit That Juice, Alex, the shop where I, I met him at was a vape shop. Mm. Okay. Like, He's not the owner of the shop. He just works there. And the vaping thing wasn't the greatest. The shop wasn't that busy. And uh, the owner decided to go into CBD, and they've been busy as fuck. You know? it's like I mean, it's a, another direction to go if you want to keep your doors open, I guess. Yeah. yeah so they've been doing CBD, and the, it's over a little over three years. And uh, they've been doing great. The business has been great there. And Alex, actually, that's how we learned everything. The guy's a wizard when it comes to CBD. Now, a lot of people don't know this in chat, but uh, I also ha have a website with him, a CBD site, you know, which I never really talk about. What's it called? You know, I let he, that's his uh, project thing. Like when I, just to give a little short, uh, just a little story on the situation. When I decided to open Hit That Juice, I made him partner in it because i i got to become friends with him got to know him and he was just an awesome guy and i was like you know this is somebody I, I could trust you know somebody that could be able to run the website and i gave him an opportunity and he's been so thankful so when he decided he was going to open up his own cbd website he did the same gesture to me and asked me if i wanted to be his partner you know so i said yeah thank you man that's fucking awesome you know uh the website is uh ready hemp go.com ready hemp go yep ready like ready set go ready hemp go ready hemp go. Go yep so. so brendan said shipping stops july 20th is that true or is that just mumbo jumbo uh, shipping what 
you uh, I'm assuming you meant the USPS stuff. Oh, the USPS. USPS. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that either. It might be true, but I didn't hear it. Did, uh, did Trump sign it? <clears throat> I didn't hear that. Nope. I didn't hear it. I've been working so fucking much, dude. I've been off social media and totally detached. It's been crazy. Yep. Nirvana CD, the best for them. Yep. I, I have a little a little device upstairs with CBD in it, and sometimes at night I'll take a couple pulls off of it. I don't even have it down here, but uh, Scott Zegan sent me over some CBD from uh, Paradigm, mm-hmm. and he sent me this charger that I love in CBD. So I can you know take a couple pulls on it and just enjoy it. It helps me relax a little bit, and it makes me feel a little bit more calm. And sometimes they get worked up, so it really helps. I have like something like here. Yeah. This has been sitting there, and I just can't. I do like I'll take like the the pill CBD, uh, the soft gels, but uh, something like this, you know, like rolled up, mm. where you smoke it. I just, I can't do it. No, it's something. I just won't smoke something. How about like a cigar? No, nothing. I can't either. I, I won't mean, do it. Mark, you could you have a cigar? No, I got the flower CBD, like the, the shit from the uh, dispensary, and I put it in a vaporizer. So I don't necessarily smoke it. I vape it. Would you have a problem smoking a cigar? I wouldn't smoke it, no. Yeah, I wouldn't either. It's too close never, to the... I never liked cigars. No? I had, a, I had a serious problem for a while there. I had a yeah. humidor that opened up in the town next to mine, and there was a time when I was in my like early to mid-20s, Man, I was going there and buying like two or three cigars every like two days. It gets expensive. Oh, yeah, it does. I'll tell you something, though. This is a crazy story that when I had quit smoking, I did with I quit with my cousin, which my cousin George, you met him. Uh, yeah, George Florida. from Florida. Yep. Yep. When he used to live here, when we quit. What we would do was we were uh, we were vaping those uh, pieces of junk uh, cigarettes. And what we started doing was smoking cigars while we were vaping so this way it would help us with the transition because we just needed to like puff on something obviously you know and that's supposed to inhale cigars which we didn't it was just more of the uh the habit of seeing the smoke from the cigar and uh that lasted probably like about a week and i was like i can't do it. <laughs> i just not into cigars yeah Never into it. We were doing Tipperillos. I think it was, right? Tipperillos? Yeah. That's what they're called, right? Tipperillo? I don't know Tipperillos. The cigars with the tips, like those those plastic tips on the cigar? Yeah, I don't know. Is that what they're called? I used to have the ones where you... Cigarellos or... Cigarellos or Tipperillos or something like that. I don't know what they're called. Mm -hmm. Mark used to smoke Phillies. No, I used to, I smoke. I used to be into cigars too, but they they do get expensive, especially when you have friends who who don't are not into cigars, and they ask you for a cigar. Yes, and it's like a fifteen dollars cigar, and it's like, yeah, nah, I don't think so. you know. You know who was big into cigars? Screlly, Screlly, yep, yeah, yep. big. We're talking about all the high end stuff. Yes, huge yeah. enthusiast. Yep. yep. But like cigar smoking was kind of like vaping for me. It was fun. Like go to different places, like different cigar shops and shit and hunt down certain cigars it was actually kind of fun yeah. i don't think it's very good for you though definitely not uh, yeah <clears throat> black and mild black yeah, yeah. black and mild's not a premium cigar yeah they smell good as fuck though still when i smell yeah, a black that's and what, mild, actually that's what we were doing it wasn't the it was black and miles the grape yeah. black and miles are really good i've never mm-hmm. even heard of the grape ones yeah Hmm. I think I think people like ro- they use it for rolling weed more than anything. I don't think anyone actually smokes a black and mild. Do they? Mm. Vanilla Dutch Masters. Ooh. You know what those are used for? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Billy Blunts. Yep. Oh, Mark, have you been using your Infix Infix thingy? Yep. I sure I've actually have. at first I was like kind of like yeah with the airflow, but ever since I taped it up, I'm really enjoying this thing. Yeah, I just 
I just keep putting my finger like that, and I just I've been enjoying it. Oh, I put that piece of tape on one side. Fucking, I, I like it. I got a question yeah. about battery life, right? So if you compare that to the Infinix, now that they oh, have the screen in there, this thing lasts much longer. Much longer, yeah. Will the Infinix uh, pods fit in it? No, no. No, they're bigger. These pods are bigger. Is the bottom the size thicker? Do I have an Infinix? Is this an Infinix? Yeah. Are you sure that pod won't fit in there? No, it looks to be just a little bit big. See, it doesn't. Yeah, it's too big. It's just a little bit bigger. Obviously, it's a little bit bigger because we have the display on it. All right, back in there. Yeah, I've been enjoying this thing. It's pretty good. Sweet. Mm-hmm. All right, so we got a little bit of an agenda to go over tonight. When I say a little bit of an agenda, uh, agenda. <laughs> Vape Team Agenda. Check out Hit That Juice for all your vaping needs. Use code Amy Relish ten for ten percent off. As we know, so if you're looking, Mike, your sale's not going on still, right? No, that sale ended. So there you go. Use Amy Relish ten for ten percent off your order. If you need some liquid, if you need supplies, whatever you need, coils. Mike's got you. Uh, also, disgusting. Sorry. What we're discussing? Cloves. Clove cigarettes. Oh, oh God, I, I never like cloves. I fucking hated them. Horrible smell. Uh, also, if you're looking for like storage shit, you can go to a Stand Up 3D because he's got all your needs met. So if you want to store batteries or tanks or anything like that, Stand Up 3D. Uh, also, a huge shout out to Patrick King. Uh, he's got some family issues going on right now with health, and we just want to send our love to Patrick. Patrick is the awesome, awesome, awesome human being, and uh, we're thinking about you, Patrick. And uh, yep. we hope everything goes well, man. So. Uh, also, thanks to everyone who assisted with the boot information. Very helpful. I'm not happy about that. Amy's been posting stuff for uh, boots on the vape team group, which is not vape related. She's been is asking questions. Is that why questions. she sent me a picture of a boot? Yep. Said was my birthday gift. Yes. Brian. She likes to put, post lawn pictures, boot pictures, ask questions about how to do stuff around the house that men should be able to do. And it's fucking embarrassing. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> Nothing takes away your manhood more than your, your wife asking other people for help around. Even if I don't know how to do it, at least I'm going to try to do it. Uh, by the way, Drip Vibe Vapor, $2. Thanks so much for the donation. Yeah, I don't know why she sent me the picture of the boot. She should have sent it to my wife. I have no idea, Mike. She's the boot expert. I was like, all right, that looks cool. I don't even know. It's a riding boot, but she doesn't even ride. It doesn't make sense to me. But she's into it. Uh, also... Uh, check out the vape team community tab to see fun perks and pictures. And Amy is looking for birthdays. If you want to get a birthday shout out and you're a member and thanks to all the new members, uh, you definitely want to head over to the, uh, the vape team community tab and, uh, let her know. And you can contact her at Amy Relish, COO at gmail.com. Uh, also be kind, spread love and spend a full day off of social media. We were talking about before the show tonight. We were talking about taking a break from social media. If you engage every single day on Facebook and Twitter and you get all these feeds and everybody's opinion and there's this study and this video and this about COVID and this about politics and this about this and family members are fighting and everything is just fucking madness. Your mental health, if you're a specific type of person, could be impacted. So you want to definitely like take a break. Detach a little bit. That's what I've done. That's People on done. Facebook are mentally unstable. I think we all can be mentally unstable given the right circumstances. You know what I mean? Some of the shit I see people post on Facebook sometimes is like, wow, yep. why are you still alive? Also, there's a little note here saying keep your eye out for a new new coming soon. I don't know what that is. It's a secret. Dun, dun, dun. So we'll see. Uh, birthday shout outs. <clears throat> Vape and Bogan. Happy birthday to Bogan. Sam, hey, happy birthday. Dickhead. Happy birthday. It's the Dickhead's birthday, so happy birthday to Vape and Bogan. And um, also a special shout out to Vape Team members. Stefan Garlington. I know he came in a little late tonight, but shout out to you, Stefan. And uh, Lobo Vapes. Living Hints. David Humpston. And uh, we do random shout outs. So, also, if you haven't joined, you can join now, and there's tons of perks. Amy loves talking about these perks. So. Yeah, let's hear about these perks. I'm curious. Yeah. 
Also, on the back of this, I guess she was thinking I was going to hold this up. <laughs> but she did. <laughs> there, there we go on on the back of the agenda. Huge shout out to Amy Relish. She she is the heart behind the scenes, uh, holding things together for the vape team. So nothing but love to her. Uh, tonight, if Mark gets the instant comment picker pulled up, we don't need that. This one already paid for the uh, to be the winner. Oh, you already have your list uh, pulled together. Yep. I can just call them out now and get it over with. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, let's see. We got some squirrels tonight. Everybody likes squirrels. I love a squirrel. We have a sequin sensual sexy squirrel tonight. We also have a donation <laughs> from Living Hints. <laughs> he gave seven twenty, seven dollars and twenty cents. He said, uh, metal health. I think he means mental health. Oh, no, no. Metal health. Heavy metal 80s. Happy birthday, Bogan. There you go. So, right. mental health. Rule of 72. The rule of 72. Uh, we have four things from Minikin. These are going to be surprises. So you won't know what you're going to get. But you could get something as fucking awesome as, like, the Ares version 2. If you like that mouth-to-lung rebuildable. Fucking awesome tank. Or maybe you could get the Zlide or the Z50. I don't know. You might get a surprise. Uh, Anakin has some new stuff coming out too. So thank you, Anakin, for the sponsorship and also for doing the squirrels. Thank and you. Uh, we're going to do four of them tonight. Four? And, then, and once again, the lucky number for tonight, 72. 72. There you go. 72. Oh, this number is hard as hell to fucking get. No, Here it's we go. not. Four. I make it oh. easy for you, Mark. Yeah, of I course. Pick a number, right, Mark? Yep. What do you pick, number two? We got a seventy-one and a seventy-five. Hold on, Mark. Before you continue, I have an announcement to make about this. About this. First of all, oh no! All the squirrels on the show are for adults only. You need to be of legal vaping age where it is you live. This is an adults only show. Drip Vibe Vapor, three dollars. Thanks for always making Thursdays awesome. Thank you for joining us and helping make the show awesome by being here. Yep. Um, but. You have to be an adult, and the Anakin is worldwide. So wherever you are, if you're of legal vaping age and you win, you need to contact Amy Relish, COO at gmail.com, and in the subject line, you need to put Anakin winner, and then you need to put your name, your address, your telephone number, <clears throat> and a picture of a photo ID proving that you're of legal vaping age. <clears throat> I feel like I'm a fucking broken record because I say it every week and people always say, I won. What do I do? Amy uh, Relish, COO at gmail.com. Watch the replay. Or watch the replay. Yes. Or don't claim your prize at all. Or go for I mean, no yourself, offense, Mark. but if anybody asks, what do I do? I never, wouldn't even bother answering. I know. It's every it's, week. Or, really, uh, it's so simple. Dude, Mike, they'll message her and then they'll say, in a, in the, 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 nothing in the subject line. It'll say, any can winner in the text and it'll have their name. And their telephone number. And that's it. And then they'll get another message after that with the address. But they won't have their name. Everything's like separate. It's crazy. It makes me want to fucking break a keyboard. I'm telling you guys, send your emails separately. It's a lot easier for Brian and Amy. No, no, you don't do that, Mark. This should be a rule. If you can't figure it out or if you make mistakes, it's qualified. There you go. All right, Mark. Continue. Four. I'm mean. I'm bad. Yeah, Mark, Mike likes order. He doesn't like chaos. He wants people to follow rules. Yep. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, we got a 72. I don't say because I want to say it. I say because it's the fucking rules and it's what you have to do. Congratulations, Jimmy Rose. You are the winner. Any relation to what's her name, Rose? Who's the Jessica. hot shit? Jessica. Jessica. Any relation? No. Are you, what do you say? Is that the hot chick? Are you her husband? Anyways, uh, yeah, congratulations, Jimmy Rose. Number two. It's kind of funny if she won next. Oh, we got a second number two. Uh, <laughs> Drip Vibe Vapor. Drip Vibe Vapor. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, Drip ugly vibe son of a bitch. Number three. I got a 72. No, you can't. Let's do it again. I can tell you who's not going to win tonight. Terry Vapor ain't going to win shit. He can't win because he's on your payroll. 70 and 76. I have nothing for you. Amber Rose. Just the tip. Thank you. Amber Rose. Who's that? I don't know. We got a winner. An actress, I think. All the way from Canada with a dried up nutsack. The Wrench Reviews. Congratulations, wow, Greg. Congratulations, hey, Greg. Greg. 
Greg would love some Anakin product. Yep. And the number four for 72. We got a 71 and a 73. That's something oh my fucking God. Hard. Oh my God. You're so big. Is that going to fit inside of me? <laughs> You're going to tear me open. Uh, congratulations, Yorgos, two, 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 two. You are a piece of shit, and you won. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> oh that is not nice, Mark. Uh, These are viewers yeah. of the show. I know. It's, How dare you? I'm kind of jealous they, they win, and I don't. You're going to split the ass vaginal barrier. Yorgos? What is Yorgos? Is he... You're, it's a fucking name. I know, but he doesn't, he's, I don't think he's American, is he? Yorgos is Greek for George. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Shit is rigged. All right. So, all right. We also have something called the Sunshiny Sunbathing Squirrel. The okay. Sunshiny Sunbathing Squirrel. This is from Element Vape. And also, if you're looking for hardware, if you're looking for liquid, if you're looking for supplies, Element Vape also has all your needs met. So head over to Element Vape. They always have a nice selection of products, great customer service, and they're nice enough to give us the Sunshiny Sunbathing Squirrel. It's a surprise. Okay. It's a fucking surprise. And you can get it. If you're watching the show right now. So, Mark, we got one. And this is for the U.S. only. Okay? The U.S. only. You need to contact Amy Relish, COO at gmail.com. In the subject line, you need to put element winner, name, address, telephone number, and a picture of your photo ID. Go ahead, Mark. If they don't have a photo ID, can they send a photo of their penis to prove their age? We don't want any photos of fucking penises. Okay. Okay. Just checking. We don't want any nudity pictures. We just want exactly what I asked for, as I said it. Number 72. Better hope you guys have an ID, because if you don't, you ain't getting shit. Here we go. 70, 73. Oh, my God. <laughs> Caridad Pals putting squirrel pictures in chat. You need a 72. We got a 72. William Snow. Congratulations, you frosty bastard. Congratulations. <laughs> When I remember that name, was I William that Snow. Chat? Congratulations! That shit's big. Holy hell! Yep. <sighs> there we go. Everybody's on the payroll. It's a coincidence that all of your Patreons won tonight. Yep. Every oh, single it's week, it's only Mark's fucking Patreons. Yep. And I only have four Patreons, and it's the same four every week. Do you know <laughs> that the, <laughs> the screen he's looking at right now is turned off? There's no computer connected to it. Oh. <laughs> yep. Congratulations, Patreons. You know what's funny? When Mark has his Patreon, when you sign up, it says the perk for signing up is that you win the vape team giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a guaranteed. Uh, so um, let me talk for a minute about what I purchased this week. I think I talked. Didn't I talk about it last week? Did I, I, I do my yeah, memory. You, didn't you get the Windows tent at our Lambo? That's where you were? No. Da, da, da. Oh. But I, you... I, I got... So I, I was going. I was going to get. Cause, okay, let, let me break it down. We got a couple. We got five minutes. So at the beginning of the year, we talked about doing this weight loss challenge, right? Once the the COVID hit, and then we were all fucking going to the supermarket and getting canned Chef Boyardee and like all this stocked up food, so that we could get through this. You know, because the supermarkets had shortages and everything like that. We got all this unhealthy, shitty food, and whatever the excuse is, I, I got off the grind of, of trying to get my health better and doing the right thing. Right. So about, um, maybe a month, a month and two weeks ago or something like that, I started exercising again. I started eating right again and I wanted to get myself some sort of fitness tracker. Right. So I would know like what I was doing and, and it would keep track of my sleep and shit like that. Cause I've been, mm-hmm. anyway, I went to go get an, uh, the Apple watch. Right. And I went to the store to get it. And I saw these fucking Fitbits, right? And I, you know, I think my mom has a Fitbit and a couple other people I know have Fitbits. And they had this new Fitbit that was smaller and thinner and it wasn't as, you know, fucking big and thick. And I have a watch that I wear that's a nice watch. And I'm just not into these digital watches very much, right? So I ended up getting this Fitbit. Fitbit Charge 4 or something like that. Anyway, it's fucking awesome. If you want to track, like, how you sleep, how long you sleep... How many times you're in REM versus uh, light sleep versus deep sleep. If you want to track how many steps you take per day. If you want to track your heart rate. If you want to check your 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 pulse. All these Wait, things. Isn't 
aren't the Fitbits for people that can't afford an Apple Watch? Well, I'm just, well, I always thought that's what a Fitbit was. Like, okay. The, or too poor for an Apple Watch. Well, let me just say this. I was in the store. I could have gotten any fucking watch that I want. <laughs> and I decided well, the Fitbit was 150 bucks compared to like 429 And for what I wanted it for, that's what I got. So, But I want to tell you, I started doing intermittent fasting because I, I get messages sometimes from people that are, that are out there doing this challenge and they're telling me all this weight they've lost and what they're doing. And I just wanted to update everybody. That I'm back on the grind again. I'm exercising every day. I'm sleeping good. And uh, for those out there that are still struggling, today's a good day to start again. And also for your mental health, if you're feeling like shit and if you're stressed out and if you're going through all this bullshit that's happening right now, there's nothing better you can do than eating good, sleeping good, and and fucking exercising. And if you're not doing that, I, I'm not going to judge you because I haven't done it for years. So whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. But nope. Yeah. Oh, we got a donation from Michael Blem, by the way. He said, caps at Vapen Fagan. I'm going to fucking put a cap in you. There we go. Ba -da 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 -da. Mark is too unfit for a... Fi Actually, you know what? I tried to buy a Fitbit, and they won't fit around my muscular wrist. I don't have little girl wrists like Brian does. I do have so really... Dude, I have thin wrists. Men can't wear Fitbits. We wear real man watches. Like is, Fitbit a, is Fitbit Walmart? a Chinese company? What? I would is, hope so. Is Fitbit a Chinese company? I didn't even know. It looks like a woman's watch, though. It looks very... It, 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 it looks it, very weird on you. Yeah. This does? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of feminine a little bit. It looks like one of those hipster bracelets that people wear. It, it looks like a bracelet. Yep. I would take it back and just get an Apple Watch. Even though it's not what you want, it'll look better on your arm. Oh, Amy. That's my tracker for him. He just thinks it's a Fitbit. Oh, is that what's happening? <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Adrian's calling you up. What did he say? I have a Fitbit. It's called an Apple Watch. Damn. Here we go. I guess Adrian Fitbit's not the it. cool thing to have. Is that what is that what I'm seeing? Yep. Uh, it says Fitbit is being bought up by Google. There we go. Yeah, that's what you know. It's like outdated when Google buys it. Dude, I don't know. Whether Fitbit's cool or not, I'm way past the cool stage in my life. I don't really give much of a fuck about being cool. I just cared about the practicality of the purpose I bought it for, and that's a tr track shit. So, whatever. If you want a like, dead accurate reading of your heart, put the Fitbit around your dick. You get <laughs> precise pulse readings. And they everything. better have a different band for this because this fucking band is way too big for me. Well, Mark won't be successful putting it around his... No, he could put it up his ass, no problem. I use the, uh, yep. I use the kids band. Yep. Uh, All right, guys, anything else? Oh. My dad used to like to kiss it when I was a baby. All right. Uh, no, thanks, on. thanks everybody. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see you next Thursday night, same vape time, same vape channel, The Vape Team. Bye. Good night. The market's worked out. Bye. <laughs>
Dude, yours oozes out. Like how much? It'd be nice to know how much like comes out. Yours comes out like Elmer's glue. It uh, does. It's like <laughs> it looks like spoiled mayonnaise. <laughs> it just Ooh. oozes out. It goes to your testicles. Uh, Sick fucking bastard. You have no distance whatsoever.